Hey, what is up guys? It is Zarius HD and welcome to a Star Wars episode of the vehicle tutorial. I am inspired today. I just come home from Star Wars episode 7 with my son and I'm inspired to build Ray's speeder. Now I've got a couple of versions here. There can be more. Um, if I upgrade these anymore, I'm going to tutorial them straight away for you guys. But this is the first one. As you see, Ray sits in the speeder here and uh, got a little computer compartment and a little bit of depth in here where she adds on some stuff. But anyway, this is my tutorial. Let's get started. What we're going to do is we are going to grab some corner stairs of acacia wood and some slabs. Okay, that's the first thing. And then we're going to get some cracked stone bricks, some cobblestone wall, and that's pretty much all the build is. I'll we'll just grab some acacia wood planks. All right. Now, the first thing you want to do, guys, is lift it up by too high and knock out the bottom block and put it on top. Easy. Next step is grab your acacia wood stairs and turn your stairs into the shape of a letter C. Just like that. Come around the other side and you're going to do the same again, but opposite. Just like that. From this point, you're going to grab your acacia wood planks. You're going to come out by two, three, and four, and just double it up on top. With your stairs, what we're going to do then is we're going to turn them upside down, just like that. Two, and then two underneath. Okay? So, two upside down, two normal. So you've got that sort of shape happening, okay? From this point, you're going to grab your corner stair and you're going to pop them facing outwards. So it gives you that little bit of corner, the little square. From here, occasional wood plank, occasional wood plank. And that's pretty much the chassis of the speeder. From this point, you get your cobblestone wall and you're going to come out by two and two again on the top, just like that with your acacia wood planks, one, two. Beautiful, okay? Now, next thing you wanna do is grab your acacia wood slabs and just paste them all along the top and just leave out this little square here because this is where you're gonna put in your redstone comparator as the little control box with a bit of glass. Now, there's another way you can do this. You could knock out that and you could put, if you really wanted to, yellow stained glass. So it's sort of like the glass covering for the controls. Personally, I don't think it looks right. I, it just doesn't look right. So I'm going to stick with that. From here, I'm just going to go and grab a couple of things. I'm going to go and grab some wither skeleton skulls and some signs. With the skulls, you're just going to pop them at the back, or if you've got black player heads, pop them out the back, because that's going to be the jet or exhaust, as they have. And with your signs, you're going to place your signs, one on the top, two on the top, just like that, and one down the bottom. All right. From here, you're going to come to this position, the second block in, and place another one. So over here. Now, if you don't want a speeder to be on its own, just sitting here, knock out this one and place in a smooth sandstone block. Just like that. And grab yourself a player head. Pop it in, boom. Just like that with some levers as arms. Just like so. And then you can just follow in with the signs, just like that. Last but not least, we grab a stone button and we're gonna pop that here and here. And that is the first version of Ray's speeder from Star Wars Episode Seven. Now leading into this version, it's a lot shorter than the top but it has this more of a depth effect and it has orange carpet on the top. But we'll get started on that now. So from here, we're gonna place our two blocks up, knock out the bottom one and just place that on top. 
And the same thing applies again. We are going to turn our stairs up into the shape of a letter C and back around this one as well. So you've got that effect. Same thing as before on these ones, you're just going to run that back two, three, and four, two, three, four. This is where it's going to get different. We're going to grab our stairs and we're going to put the stairs up into that shape again. So you've got that little square box right here. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the stair up to the letter C once again. And from here, we're just going to put a slab here and here. From this point, we are going to slab this bit off here and just fill that in like so. Just like that. Yeah, just like that. With your stair, we're just going to turn the stair upside down so it's got this little corner piece here. Just like there. Hang on, is that right? No. Turn it upside down like that. That's better. Next thing again, we're going to do it here. So we'll turn that stair upside down like so. And mix and match up again like that with two slabs. Like that. And it gives you that little box on the inside. Mind you, I've done mine slightly different, but this one is the same effect. Okay. On the back here, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our cobblestone wall once again. Come out. One, two, one, two, and grab our full block, Whoop, full block here, just like that. On the top, we're not going to use slabs, we're just going to use carpet, preferably orange guys, you don't want any other color than that, and you've got that effect. Now I suppose you could, if you really wanted to, give it that depth of another block, but it just starts looking out of shape and not so good. So this is the second version and pop one here as well. Same thing applies with the uh, designs. We place two on the top, one down the bottom and with your wither skull once again we'll just pop that on the back for the exhaust. Now I think, I'm not sure if I did it on the other one. Let's have a look. We've got to put tripwire hooks, take that one out, tripwire hooks on the front here because that's where she uses the controls or pedals or whatever you want to call it. And we can pop that down the bottom as well. So we'll just come around this side and pop that on the bottom. There you go. And we come around this side and do the same again. So two on the top, one at the bottom. Here. There's no point putting that little bash guard in like we did over there. Or you can if you want, it's entirely up to you. I'll put it on this one just to give you the style and the look. And if you want to put the person on the top, that's how you do it. One cobblestone wall, a bit of sandstone block, two cobblestone wall underneath. And to tidy it off, all we do is knock out those two and put tripwire hooks. And the last thing we do again is with the button, pop a button on each of the corner like so. And there you have two versions of Ray's speeder from Star Wars Episode 7. If I've come up with any more designs guys I will tutorial them for you. I have got a few of the new X-Wings I've still got to do for you. I'm actually, if you have a look in the far distance where my cursor is, I'm actually um, making a few adjustments so I can get it ready to tutorial for you guys. And uh, yeah, I've got another pod racer there ready to go. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you like this tutorial, please be sure to leave a like, place a comment down below. And if you like this sort of stuff, hit that subscribe button. It would really help me out and it will show me that you guys really like this sort of stuff. I'm Zaris HD, thanks for watching, take it easy, and I'll see you on the next video.